All right, solid is the word I would use to describe that win. Nothing too amazing, boring in the first half, but to be honest, the rest of the Premier League was. There was one goal in the three o'clock kickoff first half games in total. I think it was, what, five, six games? And the game before that, Bournemouth versus Newcastle, finished 1-0 to Newcastle. So it's a bit like last weekend in the first halves of the three o'clock kickoffs again. There wasn't very much action in any of the games. Not just Man United, but yeah, it was fairly boring in the first half. I think there was like one chance and that fell to Mata. It was a nice Rooney pass and Mata tried this kind of power finesse shot into the bottom left that just went wide. But the main talking points before the game was Johnny Evans's return to Old Trafford. Obviously, he transferred to West Brom in the summer. It's also Darren Fletcher's second appearance for West Brom against Manchester United at Old Trafford. So yeah. Nice to see those back. I know Johnny Evans' career wasn't amazing towards the end, but he was still a Manchester United player for a long time, so it's nice to see them playing us, I suppose, if you know what I mean. It's, it's just one of those things. Anyway, also, youngster Cameron Brothwick, is it Brothwick Jackson. I'm not going to lie, I don't know too much about him. I watch the under-21s now and again, but I think he's an under-18 player. And he was selected on the bench, and he actually came on later in the game for Marcus Rojo. It's nice to see these youngsters, these new youngsters coming through because it shows there's a route into the first team for them and they can try hard for it. I'm going to butcher this name, but I think it's Tan Zabi. Probably said that completely wrong, but he was on the bench last game. And it's just nice seeing these new youth players getting in to the first team because it'll show that there is chances for the youth players, so they'll try harder. Anyhow, it's a youth player that gets us our first goal. Jesse Lingard, a really, really nice outside well it's outside the box or first this season i believe outside the box and he manages to finesse it into the bottom right a really really nice finish and again it's nice to see these academy prospects doing well he went out on loan to derby probably other clubs as well and he came back and he scored his first manchester united goal and last game he got an assist he might not have you know he might have made mistakes essentially but it's nice seeing a player trying to do things i'm not going to discourage a player doing that because in the end, he's gained us points by getting that goal today, by getting that assist against CSK. It's vital things, and it's nice to see a Manchester lad doing it. And anyhow, West Brom's best chance, I believe, fell to either Rondon or Berahino. It's like a header crossed in, and uh, six yards out, it's a free header, and they thankfully hit it over. Apart from that, there wasn't too much threat. Again, they, they obviously came to Old Trafford to try and get a nil-nil, and they sat four Two lots of back four, essentially eight players behind the ball. We've seen it numerous times in the Van Hal era. But anyhow, we managed to make it 2-0 right at the end. It's a really nice run from Martial and he gets completely clattered. No doubt about it. It's a red card because he's the last man back. 90 second, uh, 92nd minute. Mata coolly slots it in. 2-0. And again, that's you just describe it as solid. Now, Lou Van Hal's had a lot of criticism, but if you look at his home record, Ever since he's taken over, so last season and this season, we've lost three games. And considering he lost his first ever Old Trafford game against Swansea 2-1, that is a remarkable record. To only lose three so far, let's hope we can keep it up. Two wins on the bounce now, obviously nothing uh, to shout about too much. But if we can you know, gain some momentum, it would be fantastic. I believe, I could be wrong, I haven't checked our calendar, but I think our next game is Leicester away. And if it is, they are one point ahead of us. Jamie Vardy's on a lethal streak, nine in a row that he scored, and Ruud van Nistelrooy has ten, so it would kind of, you know, be ironic, I suppose, if he did do it against Manchester United, since that was the club Ruud van Nistelrooy had the record of ten in a row. Hopefully he doesn't, though, if we do even have Leicester. I should have checked this prior to the video, but anyway, international break now. That's just boring. It's friendlies. Yeah, they're against big nations, but everyone just wants the Premier League to return. Hopefully, we can gain some momentum. And then I go to the PSV game, and I will be vlogging that. So hopefully, you will enjoy that. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, like the video, and peace.